Hello and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by for another video. I do appreciate that. So we're going we're gonna to be talking about the this wildfire in Oregon. But right now, the whole West Coast is literally burning. Like the wildfires in California, the wildfires I believe in Washington even, now and in, in, in Oregon as well. Um, so it's not just, you know, an isolated thing. Um, you can even go to um, like some weather maps and see the actual smoke from all these fires drifting across the states and affecting people in other states even. Um, so these fires, and, and not too many people are talking about, but these are these, like literally the whole west coast, and it's not exaggerating, is literally almost un, on fire. Like it says, anyways, let's get into this real quick, sorry about that. It says, wildfires cause havoc in West. Smoke from Oregon wildfire has covered part of Portland's metropolitan area, and flames have prompted a 30-mile shutdown of Interstate 84. And you can see that picture there, just the, the devastation. Um, let's see here. It goes on to say, a growing Oregon wildfire covered parts of Portland's metropolitan area Tuesday with ash, forced to sh uh, ash and forced the shutdown of a lengthy stretch of highway through the state's scenic Columbia River Gorge. It was one of dozens of wildfires burning in the western U.S. states that sent smoke into cities from Seattle to Denver, prompting health warnings and cancellations of outdoor activities for children uh, by many school dis districts. The National in uh, Interagency... Um, Fire Center, sorry, in Boise, Idaho, a federal agency that coordinates wildfire fighting, said 80 large fires were burning on 2,200 square miles in nine western states. The 16 square mile fire east of Portland forced hundreds of home evacuations. Embers from the fire drifted in the air across the Columbia River, sparking blazes in neighboring Washington state. The wildfire grew rapidly late Monday and overnight, giving authorities just minutes to warn residents on the Oregon side of the river to leave their homes. Authorities say they believe the blaze, which started Saturday, was caused by a 15-year-old boy and friends using fireworks. They've identified a suspect but have made no arrest. A 30-mile section of Interstate 84 was closed in both directions because of thick smoke and falling ash and because of flames reaching the roadway in some spots, said Dave Thompson. Um, a spokesman for the Oregon's Department of Transportation. If it jumps the road, you'd be driving through a wall of flame, he said. People in Oregon covered their faces to shield themselves from the smoke and ashes falling on them. You can't really stand outside without getting rained on by ash, said Joanna Fisher as she walked to work at a Troutdale, Oregon um, naturopathic, uh, naturopathic clinic with Kala Wasner, who was wearing a red bandana around her mouth to keep the ash out of her lungs. A fast-moving wildfire in northern Utah swept down a canyon Tuesday, destroying structures, forcing evacuations, and closing highways. At least five homes burned, and more than 1,000 people were evacuated as high winds fed the flames in the canyon north of Salt Lake City. Thick black smoke closed parts of two highways as firefighters struggled to fight the blaze, fueled by winds gusting up to 40 miles per hour. Outside of California's Yosemite National Park, a wind-fueled fire made it its way uh, deeper into a groove of 2,700-year-old giant sequoia, sequoia, sequoia trees sorry, on Labor Day, officials said. The fire had gone through about half the grove, the grove but had not killed any trees. Giant sequoias are resilient and can withstand low-intensity fires. The blaze, burned, uh, the blaze burned brush and left scorch marks on some big trees that survived, said Cheryl Chapman, a fire information officer. Elsewhere in Northern California, a fire destroyed 72 homes and forced the evacuation of about 2,000 people from their houses. The fire burned 14 square miles in the community of Helena, about 150 miles south of Oregon. In Washington State, the U.S. Department of Defense has agreed to assign 200 active duty soldiers to help fight a wildfire. A wildfire burning near Mount Rainier National Park in Washington State grew to more than 29 square miles and heavy smoke blanketed many cities in Washington State. Mandatory evacuations were announced for the fire near Mount Rainier, including Crystal Mountain Ski Resort. Um, some other... Uh, 
things here it says it says in Oregon people living about 700 miles in and around the Columbia River Gorge have been forced to evacuate the area others have been warned to get ready as flames burn trees and brush in one of the state's biggest tourist attractions um, since the fire has spread 13 miles in 16 hours and pushed by winds overnight that range from 30 to 40 miles per hour in tender dry conditions um, a total of 600 Oregon National Guard troops have been called up to fight more than a dozen blazes across Oregon, including a much larger blaze in southwest Oregon in a rural area along the California border. Um, so, you know, I'm going to leave it that, at that. You know, it's a pretty long article, but if you want to come over here and finish it, um, actually there's not too much here left. Um, I just wanted to share this story with you because maybe you didn't realize that, you know, uh, you know that literally the west coast it seems like it's on fire now it seems like it's exaggerating but it's not really because there's I mean so many wildfires burning right now calls from weather calls from people it, it really the cause right now is is you know is not relevant what is relevant is the west coast is burning right now and there's not a lot of talk about it there really isn't um, yes there I mean there's it's you know just a lot going on think about it. the west coast is basically on fire south texas louisiana basically drenched and drowned in water and winds then you got irma coming in that probably might hit florida to go up the east coast then you got jose who knows that's supposed to go back out to sea and then you got another storm forming in the Gulf again. I forget what the name of it is. I apologize. Katina. I don't remember. I'm sorry. But what I'm saying is there's a lot of crazy weather and things going on right now in the States. Like it really is. But I appreciate every single one of you for watching. My thoughts and prayers go out to everyone affected by these wildfires and on the West Coast. Because it is literally burning. The West Coast is burning right now. So my thoughts and prayers go out to them. I appreciate every single one of you. Thanks for supporting the channel and watching these videos. Hope you have a blessed day. Peace.